The Lompoc City Fire Department received a more than $21,000 grant from the Department of Homeland Security for ballistic gear and rope systems. But a multi-million dollar FEMA grant to update its headquarters was taken away. KSDY's Melissa Newman is live in Lompoc with the concerns. Melissa? Karina, Battalion Chief Brian Fetterman tells me they spend between 75 and 100 hours a year in a grant writing process. But until they find a new source of funding, they're going to be left with reminders like this, this beam that's had to be reinforced to remind them of the dangers of an earthquake if it were to happen here. The Lompoc Fire Department has new protection. Through a Department of Homeland Security grant, the department was able to purchase ballistic gear and new rope systems. It's a sad day that fire personnel have to get ballistic gear. Uh, it's unfortunate times that we live in, uh, but it's important that first and foremost that our personnel are safe and protected and able to perform their duties. But possibly one of the greater threats facing the department is an earthquake. We're looking at a very large beam that ties these two different structures together. Anywhere where you have these points of contact, that's where your weakest points are. Lompoc's Fire Station 1 is the result of three different add-ons spanning from the 1920s to the most recent addition, the engine bay added in the 70s. We have had historically in years past a very large earthquake that did hit Lompoc. So we have concerns that the building would not be completely functional and in fact could harm our occupants, that being our firefighters that have to be here. 24 seven so that we're available to help others. The fire department was awarded a grant from FEMA back in 2014 to help reinforce the building, but they say they were recently told the grant was taken away once outside consultants discovered how much work was to be done. The second floor uh, roofing material and roof structure the, the wood members that are attached to the masonry building are uh, in the event of an earthquake would result in significant or complete collapse of the building. The department is now looking for other ways to fund the much needed upgrades. We need to perform our duty and ensure that our people are safe and can get out and, and serve the community uh, not be trapped inside the building. Now all this comes while the city of Lompoc is looking to make cuts to this department. So if they were to find funding, it would have to come from an outside source. Live in Lompoc, Melissa Newman, KSBY News. All right, Melissa, thank you. And if the city moves ahead with the proposed cuts, it would include losing three firefighters in addition to several other cuts to public safety departments.